Morning, Ma. Morning. Man, spend the night. Yeah, he came here after an argument with Dina, but he didn't tell me much. Must be something big. Oh, she must be worried sick. Don't worry. I told Dina that he's here. I really hope they work things out. Hope so. Hey, hey, sorry. Finally finished my meeting with Dina. We can go now. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, Sean just texted me, reminding me about dinner tonight. So? His place, just the two of us. Uh huh. So? That message I sent him yesterday. Oh, yeah, the accidental come on. Yeah, what if he thinks that I want to take things further? Like, you know, go all the way? Uh, I mean, I'm sure he doesn't think that, right? I mean, he can't. No, I mean, definitely not. I mean, come on, it's just a dinner and nothing more. Right? Mm -hmm. Guys, make sure all of you don't forget anything. If not, we will connect from PS. I've got everything. I even had a dream that I was Rambo and that I had to protect every single one of you all by myself. Huh? You protect all of us, huh? I think I surrender better. <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this again. The weather these days has just been too hot. Yeah, man. Except this champion. Him? He gets to slack in bang. While the rest of us, we suffer. Life is so unfair. I'm sure PS has something planned for me. I'm sure he does. But still can't be as bad as what we have to do, right? There's something wrong with the toilet flush. I'm gonna call a plumber. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll go and fix it. Really? Yeah. Chris is going to fix the toilet flush. Chris. M my brother, Chris. Uh -huh. Voluntarily. You didn't force him. No, I didn't. You know the old Chris would have never done something like this. So, thank you. For what? Well, he was feeling really lost after coming out of prison. But now, he has a sense of purpose. So... Give him more responsibilities, okay? He can handle it. Sure. He's my brother. I want him to do well, too. It's working fine now. Really? Yeah. That was fast. <laughs> You're my hero handyman. It's no big deal. It's just a simple fix. Ooh. I've nothing to wear. Shruti. I know you're nervous about tonight, but you do know that you don't have to do anything that you don't want to, right? Yeah, but I don't want to disappoint him. That's exactly how I felt with Mark back then. You know, I wasn't sure if I was ready, but he told me he loved me and said that if I really love him, I would, you know. So I, I didn't want to disappoint him. But. It may not be the same. I mean, Sean is nothing like Mark, right? I didn't tell him about NF1 because I didn't want him to worry. What's the point of both of us worrying when there's nothing that can be done? I know. Okay, I understand. And yeah, I think Sulaiman also will understand. You know, once he cools down, he always forgive you one. But this time around, it's different. It's about Rian. My son could have NF1. How could my wife keep this from me? Bro, trust me, I'm on your side. If it happened to me, I'll be just as angry. Hmm? I'm responsible for this. I did this to him. It's all my fault. How could I? He's just a baby. Hey, relax, relax. Okay, and that's why you gotta stop driving yourself crazy. Lena didn't tell you because of this. Cannot just stand here and do nothing. Hey, where are you going? What about this? Shruti, you're going on a date, not a funeral. And you know, I wonder why Fufu Shu would have this kind of clothes in the wardrobe. Actually, I think my mom got this for me so that I can wear it to a funeral. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna wear that to turn Sean off completely? Yeah, I don't want him to get the wrong idea. Well, if that's the case, then don't bother putting makeup or deodorant. And you know what? Just wear yesterday's laundry. Ew! I don't want him not to want me. <laughs> Shruti, 
I'm not Sean and I'm already so confused. What the heck do you want? I don't know. I mean, I like Sean a lot. And I think he could be the one. But the problem is... I I'm scared. Remember what my brother said the other time? That guys only want one thing? Well, yeah, he's right. I mean, most of them do. Yeah, so what if we, you know, and then he gets what he wants and then dumps me? You mean like what Mark did to me? Yeah, I'm sorry. But, you know, I don't want him to think that I'm not good enough and then he gets angry and then dumps me. Well, Shruti, if that's the reason he dumps you, then that just proves that he's a scumbag like Mark. He's not. Well, then what are you worried about? I don't risk it. You know what? Then don't put yourself in that position. Cancel the date. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to cancel. For Urban Ops training today, you know what to do. Same as what we did yesterday. But I want you to be prepared for some surprises. Understand? Yes, yes I done. Done. Now, the three of you heroes, I want you to be in charge of the water point today. Go to the cookhouse, fetch two cameras, fill them up, and come back. Understand? Go. Yes, Sergeant. Hey, 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 don't take your own sweet ride. Go! Hurry up! I guess getting light duty doesn't mean you can stay in the bunk and slack. That's what happens when you get downgraded, bro. Saikang all the way. ICs. Julius and Eddie. I want you to go through the route that you have been briefed on. Make sure you clear the room and move fast. Rear man, I want you to make sure you cover the back. Yes, Sergeant. ICs, I want you to make sure that you take care of your men and give the correct hand signals. Do it once and do it good. Yes, Sergeant. Better not screw up like yesterday. Yeah. And get us all into trouble. How can I help? Shruti, you want to help? Yeah. You will be more of a hindrance than help. You have to continuously stir it to prevent it from burning. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. Shouldn't you be getting dressed for your date? I mean, you don't want to smell like chicken curry when you meet Sean, do you? I'm not going. Why? Why not? Not feeling well. <laughs> well, you look perfectly fine to me. Shruti, Sean will be disappointed. I think I'm going to go lie down. Christmas? Uh, no, Sergeant. Hey, hey, hey. The sniper spotted you. I give you three seconds to move or you are dead. And your teammates will have to cancel you all the way. Three. Uh, uh, which side is it? Is it this side? That's exactly it. Two. Right, right, right. And he move it. OK, OK. Grenade. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Fire, fire. fire. Room clear! Room clear! Room clear! Okay, carry on. Get out. Hey, what's your problem? Why do we keep messing up? Sorry, sorry, I just cannot concentrate. Then wake up! I don't want to keep getting sabot by you. 
Hey, boys. What are we waiting for? Reindeers, is it? Huh? Looking for Santa Claus. What's going on? Oh, I'm going to meet Sean. What? I thought you cancelled. I feel bad cancelling on him. Are you sure about this? Yes. I'm not going to let myself be pressured into anything. I'm just going to follow my heart. If it's a yes, it's a yes. If it's a no, it's a no. I mean, I'm sure he'll listen. Well, as long as you're sure. I am. So, how do I look? Much better. Thanks. I better get going. I can't wait to surprise you. <laughs> bye. OK, bye. That's the exit point. Prem, oh. Brendan, you've been shot. You're down. So, what are you going to do now? The enemy platoon is coming. You have two choices. You either leave him behind and save yourself, or you pick him up and rescue him. So what will it be? Let's just run. Uh. I mean, we'll run out of time if you try to save him, right? Yeah, you'll both just go ahead. Hey, wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about? We are a team. We either live or die together. Leave no man behind. Ask me a weapon. Uh. Come, let's go. Mm. You guys made it out. But you overshot the timing. Mission failed. But you did not give up on your detail. That's what this is all about. Brothers in arms. Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good job, Eddie Tong. Thank you, sir. Is he still the same? Tell you what. Why don't I bring the kids back to my place after their school and maybe you can get some rest after that. You don't have to. It's fine. Thank you. When you brought Faisal to see Dr. Baska, was that your way of letting me know about the NF1? It wasn't my idea. It was Hassan's. His idea? You wouldn't talk to him. Ignore his phone calls and messages. He felt that this was the best way to notify you and Lena. He wanted you to know early, you know, so you could be prepared just in case. He was really worried about you and Rian. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, one. One, duck. Okay. Perfect. Right. You're doing the accounts. Uh, need any help? Uh, I'm good, thanks. I did accounts in school. I can do it. Chris, why don't you just concentrate on cleaning the equipments? Yeah, thanks. Hey, Catherine. Hi, I'm glad you came. Thank you. I'm here to look for you. I'll give you both some time to be alone.
sayang. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you the moment I found out. I just wanted to protect you. The one who should be protected is Rayan. I know. Do you blame me? Do you think it's my fault that our son might have an F1? Of course not. Why would I? I want to find out everything about NF1. And I want Rian tested as well. I'll check with Dr. Baska, okay? Oh, okay. Sorry. Can we go home now? Maybe I should give him a chance to explain. <sighs> He's too busy to even pick up the phone. Fine. I gave him a chance. Hi. This is Bufushu. I know I look like a complete mess right now. Just because I'm so angry and upset. My boyfriend, Sean. Oh, wait, should I say my ex now? He cheated on me because I wasn't ready to give him something that I wasn't ready for. Chris, you got a minute? Uh, yeah, go. What's up? Uh, we're discussing a corporate deal uh, with one of our fixed business contacts uh, for the staff at St. Hamilton. St. Hamilton? They are a big hotel chain and they have lots of employees. Well, we haven't clinched the deal yet, but I want to put you in charge. Me? Oh, I don't know. It's a big deal and I don't want to screw it up. You can do it. You should believe in yourself. Okay, go. I'll do it. Adam really believes in you, so you better do a good job, okay? Of course. I will let him go. Hey, thanks for doing that for Chris. I haven't seen him this happy in a while. Guys like Sean, they use women. And when they get tired of us, they dump us and move on to the next flavour of the month. And their glorified head starts and other men envy them. But if girls were to do the exact same thing, their label has promiscuous sluts, someone with no self-respect. I mean, why these double standards? Girls are expected to be sweet and understanding. But the truth is, we are humans. We make mistakes, we have flaws, and we are not perfect. So why are we expected to live up to those double standards? I mean, come on. Life is tough enough. We have so many issues to face. Self-doubt, insecurities, body image issues, pressure from school, parents, friends, boyfriend, the list goes on. <sighs> No more. I hereby reject all those impossible standards society has imposed on me. I'm going to live according to my rules now. I'm so pissed. I feel like crap and I want to bear Sean up. But I won't. I'll get through this. I'll get wiser and stronger. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for that one I love, the one who will love me for who I am and not what he gets from me. Sayang, what are you doing? Checking the number of spots on Rian's body. He only has a few spots. Still, you have to be careful, right? I'm also writing my queries to a doctor about NF1. I think we should send Rian to the doctor and get a thorough checkup. I'll talk to Dr. Basker then and get him to recommend someone. No need. I'll get one myself. I want to do genetic testing also. Sayang, 
genetic testing can be quite expensive. It doesn't matter. It's my son's life we're talking about. Rayan! Hey, Rayan is smiling. Why don't you play with him? Rayan misses his daddy. Kan? Kesayang. His father might have given him any fun. Sayang. You have to stop thinking like that. You might not even have NF1. And if you don't, Rian is safe. Look, you don't even have any of the symptoms. Neither did my father. Nobody knew he had it. His wife told me he had none of the symptoms either. But he still had it. So I'm not going to be okay until I'm 100% sure. Okay. I know you've had a stressful day, so why not you just close your laptop and then you just go to sleep. You just go ahead and sleep first. I'm going to do more research. The rain falls just the same as before But I don't see the sun anymore Waiting for time to mend The dream that I thought would never end Now I have to learn to let go Look, I think you don't need to worry about Chris. I'm telling you, he's not to be trusted. Okay? He's stupid enough to fake his own degree. Who knows what he'll do next? Look, where would you be in your own career if you weren't given the opportunities to prove yourself? Come on, just give Chris a chance. I'm sure he will do well. We'll see. Well, Fick's still giving you a hard time. Yeah, he can be a real pain. Hey, guys. Chris, you're looking good for someone who went to prison. Thank you.